Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to kind of demo our brand new dust overlay collection for uh, Photoshop, Luminar, pretty much any program that will accept um, uh, JPEGs that you can layer. Uh, so Photoshop is obviously the, the most popular one, uh, but you can uh, put these textured layers, these textured overlays on your photos to really enhance them a little bit. And I wanna demo a few of them here for you today, but if you wanna see more information, link in the description down below, uh, you'll be able to see uh, kind of some before and afters and uh, kind of get a feel for what these 20 overlays can do to your photos. But first of all, we have the uh, this image right here, and what we wanna do is really um, it, it kind of accentuate kind of the, the, the feel around this little red light. And so we have a overlay um, it's one of our dust overlay. I'm just going to drag it over here and you can see this one is already red However, you can change the colors, but what we're doing is just we're going to take this overlay size it up a pretty good amount and Click right here now with a lot of these overlays uh, you have to play with the blending modes And so for, for a lot of these overlays that have a black background You're going to go ahead and change the blending mode here to screen and when you do that all the black goes away and you can see we have all these red uh, sparks coming through uh, from our, our overlay collection here so uh, one thing that you can do also with these is apply a layer mask to remove where you don't want these overlays to be so you see I really just want the overlay to affect what's around the model here and not on the face so I'm just gonna apply a layer mask here I'm gonna get a white brush I'm sorry a black brush take my little brush here and I'm just going to paint away where I don't want the overlay to affect so just like that so you can see before and after here maybe clean up a little bit on the body right there and that works out pretty good so you can see we just added uh, here the before here's the after you can see we added a, a cool little effect to it it really kind of enhances a little bit uh, so we also have this image here, and what this is really good for is doing kind of like a grunge texture. So you can see we have this bodybuilder here, and we want to add a texture around this person. And so we have one of the overlays here that we can drag, or we have plenty to choose from. Uh, so I'm just going to take this one and drag it. And I'm going to size this one up as well. You can see it's got kind of a, a nice little speckled texture. Now one thing uh, that we can do also with m most of these overlays is invert them. So we don't want the white to show up on the background. We actually want it to be black. So what we need to do is invert this, uh, this layer here. And that's as easy as possible. Just go over here to image, adjustments, invert. And that's going to just basically flip the color. So now we have a white as our background and black as our kind of accent texture to change uh, with the blending mode like we did with the, uh, the image before, uh, instead of doing screen, we're actually gonna do multiply. And it's gonna take away all of the white in the image. So now we can feel free to apply another layer mask, take our black brush and paint away where we don't want that effect to, uh, to take place on the model here. So we're just taking it away just like that. And uh, that's basically as easy as it was to kind of apply a, a texture to the background and we can take it down a little bit to make it not as obvious uh, but you can see look now it looks like a, a wall that was textured so here's the before and here is the after all right so we're gonna do one more here we have this one here it's kind of gonna be similar to the ones we've done before but you can really have fun playing with these I'm just gonna drag this texture over here's another one it's kind of like a speckled um, kind of a almost like concrete ish texture I guess uh, so just right around here and again we don't want the black to uh, the white, I'm sorry, the white to go on the image. We actually want it to be black. So just like with the previous image, we're gonna invert it. So go to image, adjustments, invert, and then change our blending mode to multiply again. And you can see it just adds a cool little texture here. Take the opacity down a little bit more and then take our brush and just paint away where we don't want it to be affected. And it really helps if you have a, uh, a feathered brush just like that. Maybe I don't want it to be affecting anything below here. And we can just take away all of it here and just have it apply up there. And you can see it's kind of a cool little effect on your images and make them not as uh, not as kind of plain, I guess. So uh, again, this is our dust overlay collection. If you want to learn more about it, link in the description down below. That'll take you to Sleek Lens and you can see more information about these 20 overlays. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.